Hello and welcome. This is Jit Dolak and you're watching it's Tomorrow News. Giant winter storm and flooding barrels across Midwest US and mine. A winter storm barreling across US middle section on Sunday created dangerous conditions for drivers with traffic grinding to a halt in some places as authorities reported dozens of crashes. As many as six people were killed in traffic accidents in two states that may have been weather related authorities said. The storm was dropping snow and freezing rain from the Rockies to the Midwest, the National Weather Service said. The front is expected to hit the East Coast beginning Monday, the agency said. About 13 million people from Colorado to Connecticut were under winter storm warnings and weather advisories on Sunday night, but the system could eventually affect as many as 39 million people across 16 states. In Nebraska, three people died and four others were injured in a crash on Interstate 80 between Omaha and Lincoln, authorities said. One of those injured remained in critical condition. The causes of crash was under investigation, but a spokesman said that it was snowing at the time and that weather may have played a role. In Missouri, state troopers said they had responded to hundreds of reports of stranded motorists and dozens of crashes with injuries. At least one fatal crash, that of an overturned vehicle on Interstate 94, was determined to have been weather related. A total of 3.37 inches is recorded at Portland International Jetport, breaking the previous December 14 record of 1.74 inches set in 1917. A warm December storm dosed southern mine with record setting rainfall on Saturday, swelling rivers and flooding roads on the front end of a weather system that is expected to generate high winds in the region on Sunday. From the start of rainfall Friday evening to the end of the pelting steady precipitation Saturday afternoon, many cities and towns in Cumberland and York counties recorded between 3 inches and nearly 5 inches of rain. Saco got the most at 4.84 inches according to the National Weather Service. Meteorologists expected heavy winds on Sunday gusting to as high as 45 mph per hour, followed by an abrupt temperature drops into the 20s by Sunday evening. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. Jit Dolakya. For more weather updates like this, please subscribe to our channel.